everyone, my name is Sue Masterson and I'm not affiliated with Stair Warehouse, I'm just a really happy customer. And I was really excited to find the Stair Warehouse website and see all of the different kinds of balusters that they have so that I could redo my stairway myself. And if you click on, let's just click on single diamond here, you'll see that a lot of um, in their balusters, they, they give you the view of what a room looks like and that was really helpful to me. But I wanted to take it a step further and actually design my own staircase in Photoshop so that I could see exactly how it would look and I thought that I would do a quick tutorial and show you how to do that. So if I close this window, here I have Photoshop open. So to get started, there's a couple things that you need. You need to take a picture, a digital picture, of your stairway that you look that you're that you're wanting to modify. Then you need to collect samples of the balusters that you like. And for example, I have Wavy here. I have Nautilus. And I got these pictures right from the Stair Warehouse website, but they can help you get pictures if you need them. This is the double diamond and this is the single diamond. So the first thing that you want to do is take the pictures of your balusters and give them a transparent background so that you can then plop them into your digital picture and you'll be able to see through them as if they were a real baluster. So the way I do this is you, in Photoshop you're open to the baluster that you want to use. Click on your layer and duplicate that layer and so this is called background and background copy and let's just change the name on this to single diamond alright now we're going to turn off the view of the first background and then click on the overlay that we have using the magic wand we're going to click on the picture edit cut and you'll see how I am making a transparent background now for this baluster. Alright, so this is now a transparent baluster. I am going to save that as, let's save it as single diamond trance. Alright, so now we have a transparent baluster and you would do that with all of your other baluster pictures. All right, once you've made all of your balusters transparent, the next thing that you'll want to do is manipulate your stairway image a little bit to prepare for dropping the balusters in. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is zoom in here a little bit, and I want to paint over the old balusters with the wall color to sort of um, blank them out and give me space for dropping in the new balusters. So I am on my brush here. Actually, I'm going to go to the eyedropper first. And I'm just going to select the background wall color. And you can see that it's now selected here in your color palette. Then I'm going to go to the brush. And I've got a 36 um, point brush here. And you see what I'm doing? All I'm doing is just painting out the baluster right there so that when I drop in the new baluster it will be easy now to manipulate the design and see what you like. So just continue to paint out your balusters like that. And let me get a few more of these painted out and I'll be right back. Alright, you can see that I've painted over a bunch of the balusters, so now it's time to start dropping in the new balusters. And the first design that I want to test is the alternating single and double diamond. So I've already got those ready to go, so I'm going to go to my double diamond graphic. I am going to duplicate that layer, and I want to duplicate it to my stair image, which is now stair tutorial 1 and I say OK. Now I'm working in sort of a small window here for this tutorial but if I go back to the stair graphic you see that I've now dropped in the baluster. So let's go ahead and move that and I will want to put that into position here and you see that it's at the wrong angle so the first thing that I will want to do is rotate that. So you just go to your transform menu and rotate and now we will rotate that to the appropriate angle for the picture that I've taken. That looks pretty good. The other thing that we need to do is scale that. So let's do a, whoops, let's go to Edit, Transform, Scale. 
and I'll hold my shift key down so that um, all of the ratios stay the same and I'll scale that to about the size that we'll need. That's probably about it. We might have to rotate that a little bit more but let's go ahead and move it into position there. Um, and I am going to rotate that just a tad more. So we'll rotate. Uh, that looks pretty good. All right. Now, the first baluster is in position, and you can see that it hangs down a little bit there on the carpet. So what I'll do is just take that erase key and just erase that part that's right there on the carpet. And now I want to alternate that as a baluster, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. OK. And there's now another one that I can move up to this location. Duplicate again. We'll move that up to that location there. And um, we'll come back with the eraser and just erase that little segment right there. Remember, you have to have the layer highlighted that you want to work on. Erase that little layer right there. Now let's do the same thing with the single diamonds. Okay, so let's go to the single diamond. Let's uh, duplicate that, and again, we're going to duplicate it to our stair tutorial graphic. Now, if we switch over to the stair tutorial, you'll see it's right there. It's really big. Okay, I've gone through the same process that I went through with the double diamonds with the single diamond as far as rotating and scaling so it would fit, and now I'm just going to duplicate again and uh, begin to fill in. So you can see how I am actually designing my own stairway now using the my own picture of my own room so I know exactly how it's going to look. Now let's say I wanted to change the color of these balusters. Um, maybe I'm going for more of a stainless steel view. I click on, I'll click on the first um, presence of the double diamond which is the very first one there and I'll click on the effects and color overlay and I can choose a new color. Let's choose a lighter gray so it's more of a stainless steel type view. And you can see I've changed the color now. And to carry that color through, I can just copy the layer style and go right up the stack, pasting that layer style so that I can change the color to exactly the uh, color baluster that I'm interested in. So hold on here a second, let me show you the other picture that I did. I was, um, personally I was interested in the double and single diamond and then I was also interested in the wavy and nautilus. So let me cue up the wavy and nautilus picture for you so you can take a look at what I did with that. Before I show you the Nautilus and Wavy design that I worked up, I wanted to give you a little view here of the finished version of the single and double diamond. You can see what a great tool this is for designing your new stairway without even spending a penny. And there's just so many different ways that you can combine these balusters. You can just get really creative with this. Finally, here's an example, a finished example of Wavy and Nautilus together. So again, you've got um, just infinite possibilities for combining designs, for coloring designs, just by using the basic tools that you can find in Photoshop. So I hope you have as much fun with this as I did. It sure helped me make my decision, which was single and double diamond. Thank you.